Welcome to our Adoku puzzle, which is similar to a Sudoku, in that all the numbers in each row, column, and 3x3 three three box are from 1 to 9, with no repeats. But I find the Adoku puzzle is even more fun than the Sudoku. Now some of the numbers are already given, and are marked with a dot, so fill these ones in first. The number in the corner of a box indicates the sum total of the boxes joined by a line. Remember there's no guesswork with this puzzle. It's all very logical and there's only one answer. With some combinations there's only one set of numbers that will add up to the total without repeating a number. It's what we call a unique block. You'd be surprised how quickly you learn and remember these combinations, but until then you can refer to the handy chart which you can find on our Lovitz website. With this Adoku, we can make a lot of progress just by remembering two of the combinations. And they are 23, made up of three squares, must be 6, 8 and 9. And 24, made up of three squares, must be 7, 8 and 9. Here's a set of three squares adding up to 24. So they can only be 7, 8 and 9. Now we can see there's already a 9 in the box. So that means the 9 for this set must be here in the box below. Here's a set of numbers that add up to 23. And that's made of a 6, 8 and 9. Now the 9 of this set can't go in the box because as you can see there's already a 9 in the box. And it also can't go here in the top row because there's already a 9 there. So it has to go here. Back to this set here, we don't know which is which out of these two squares, which is the 7 and which is the 8. So we put our options in at the bottom. And now we know that because one of these is going to be an 8, this one here can't be an 8. So the 8 has to go at the top and this one has to be a 6. And this one here is an 8. Now, if you have a look at the column running down the middle, we've got a 9 in it already and a 5. You'll see that there's a 24 set and a 23 set. Now, because there's a 9 already, the 23 9 will have to go here. And that gives us the options of 6 and 8, here and here. Now look at the 24 set. You'll see that the 9 of course, can't go in the top square because there's already a 9 in the column. It can't go in the bottom because of the row going across, so it has to go here in the middle. And we fill in the options here. Looking at the middle column again, and using the process of elimination, you can see that because there are two squares, it can only be 6 and 8, this square here 7, 8 can only be 7. This must be an 8, which means that this must be a 6, and this one must be an 8. Over here there's a set of 3 squares adding up to 7, which can only be 1, 2 and 4. And running down the first column, you'll see there's two squares adding up to three, which can only be one and two. If you put your options in here, and you go back up to that square part of the seventh set, you'll see that that square can only be a four, because the one and the two are already taken. As you can see now, we have a number four in the third row in this box. We have another four over here in the second row, in this box, so the only place a 4 from the top row can go is here. That means that this box here is a number 2, to add up to 6. This set here is made up of 1, 2 and 3, and we can see that because of this 2 here, the 2 for this set can't go here or here, so it must go here. And the options of course are 1 and 3.
This similar set here, also made of 1, 2 and 3, we can see that the 2 can't be the top one because we already have 2 there. So we fill in the options of 1 and 3. And down here we fill in the options 1, 2 and 3. Looking at this box here, we can see that there are only two numbers missing. That's 6 and 7. We can see this can't be a 6 because there's already a 6 in this row. So this must be 7. And this one is 6. Looking at this column here, there's an 8 and a 9, which means that this square here must be a 6 because it's part of the 6, 8, 9 set. And down here, this must be a 7. The same reason. Now we can put our options of 8 and 9 in these two squares. But wait, there's a 9 in this row already. So now we know that this one must be 8. And this one must be 9. Now down in this set, similarly, this square here has to be a 9 because there's an 8 above. And this square has to be an 8 because there's a 9 above. Using these techniques, you're well on your way to completing the puzzle now. So enjoy the challenge and happy puzzling!